Hey guys, okay, so um, I keep having to re-record this because I keep talking too much and I'm sorry about my hair, um, but this is going to be a book haul. I tried to do this a week ago, but it wouldn't upload, so I'm redoing it now, um, and I'm going to try not to go into too much detail about these, but basically um, a few of these, like one of them I got online, one of them I got from Salvation Army for like $2.50, uh, several of them I got from a used bookstore in exchange for me bringing them my old books, they gave me credit, and I got these books with that credit, as well as two of the DVDs from my DVD haul that I shot last week, and then um, three of them I got from Barnes & Noble. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first one is... Isla and the Happily Ever After, which I pre-ordered. Um, oh, it's by Stephanie Perkins, by the way. Um, I pre-ordered this, and I am so excited to read it. I was supposed to read it a few weeks ago, but didn't get around to it, but I am determined to read this by the end of the month while it's still summer, because this just seems like a summertime read, and I really loved Anna and Lola. I probably loved Lola a little bit more, but because of that, I am just so excited to see about this one. Uh, so, yeah. And then I got The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the one I got from Salvation Army for $2.50, and it is in nearly perfect condition. The only bad thing about it is that the spine is messed up, but the spine is not so messed up that the pages are messed up. So I was 100% fine with that. Um, it meant that I paid a quarter of the price that I would have just for the paperback, and I got a nice hardcover. So, yeah. Excitement. Um... Okay, next I will talk about the, um, the classics that I got from the used bookstore. Um, I got A Passage to India by E.M. Forrester because I needed more Forrester in my collection because I love Room with a View, you guys know that. Um, I have yet to read Howard's End, but I'm going to read that one and then move on to this one. And then I got love poems of Elizabeth and Robert Browning because I think their love story is fantastic. Um, I saw a movie a couple months ago uh, called The Barrys of Wimpole Street, and there are several different adaptations of this film. Um, I think it was originally a play, and basically it just tells the story about how Elizabeth Barrett Barrett um, grew up in a... Um, like, her home, her dad was really tyrannical, and she was very sickly, and her mother had passed away, I think, when she was quite young. Um, so, yeah, basically, she just had a really difficult home life, and then uh, she met Robert Browning, and he courted her and married her and took her away from a bad home life, which I just, it was a really beautiful love story. And so that made me want to pick these up, um, because I've read some poems by her and some poems by him, but not enough of either, so, yeah. And then next we have Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway, which is the only Hemingway that I've ever, uh, really wanted to read, because it is, uh, non-fiction, it is autobiographical, and it is set in Paris in the 1920s, and has, uh, talks about his interactions with people like the Fitzgeralds and Gertrude Stein, so heck yeah. Um, and then I got um, a physical copy of Neverwhere, because um, I really like having physical copies of books, and I only have, I have the ebook, which I actually think I like a little bit better, because it's the author's preferred text, whereas this isn't, but this was free, so I'm not going to complain. And I just, I like having, um, physical copies of books, even if I have ebooks, and, um, I also have the BBC radio adaptation, which is amazing. If you haven't listened to it, go do that, because the cast is phenomenal, and so is his writing. So, yep. And then, the rest of these are all Terry Pratchett, um, and I'm going to do a separate video where I talk about my entire Discworld collection. Um, so for this right now, I'm just going to kind of run through these titles. Um, I have The Color of Magic um, and The Light Fantastic, which are the first two books uh, ever in the Discworld series. And then I have Guards Guards and 
which I think that's the first one in his Night Watch series, um, or his Night Watch section of Discworld. And then I got um, Equal Rights and Masquerade. Both of these are the UK covers, which I just think are so amazing because the illustrations go around the whole thing. Um, instead of like mostly color and a little dinky picture and these were done by Josh Kirby before he died because Josh Kirby was the original illustrator of all of the Discworld books um, before he passed away in I think it was 2001 but don't quote me on that um, but yeah these covers are just gorgeous so this is Equal Rights and Masquerade um, and Equal Rights is standalone and Masquerade is in the Witches series and then um, these three I got from Barnes & Noble, and I got these because Barnes & Noble never has um, these in stock because I go look at their Terry Pratchett section like every time I'm in there, basically. Um, first we have Lords and Ladies, which is part of the Witches series. And then I got a new copy of Thief of Time, which is in the Death series. Um, I got a copy of this at Powell's, but the copy that I got was just really, really crappy, so I decided to get a new one instead. Um, and then I got Eric, which I love this cover so much. I love the colors and the parrot. Um, and Eric is a standalone in this world. And then I also got a copy of Reaper Man, which is the second book in the Discworld series. I mean, in the Death series of Discworld, but when I got it home, I realized it was a really bad edition. Um, the spine was cracked, which I saw before, so I didn't really mind that, but then I turned it over, and there was some unknown substance on the back cover, and if you guys know me at all, you know that that really grosses me out, so I immediately put it in the box to be taken to the Salvation Army, and I'm going to be getting a new copy of it at some point. So, yeah, um, those are all the books that I got in my haul, um, and I will make a separate video talking about my entire Discworld collection to date um, and go into more detail about the Discworld books that I got. Um, and, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.